Money. You must have a massive house to keep them all oh, in. Yeah, <laughs> You'd be running out of space, wouldn't you? Um, right, let's move on to the weather now. Alexis is with us. So we've got to brace ourselves for some freezing conditions. We have. We? It's literally going to be bitter this week. Two degrees the high Thursday, Friday oh. and into the weekend. Yes, yeah, so let's take a look at your weather pictures. Mark Barton photographed the cloudy skies over Christchurch Harbour. Lorraine Lambeth captured a bit of colour on a gloomy December day. Thanks for that one. And Norman Atkinson's cat sat observing the cold weather from inside his house in Littlehampton. Very wise, yes. Uh, through the course of today, we've had lots of cloud in general, a little bit of brightness here and there, and we've had some showers as well. We'll see the odd shower this evening, but they will fade away tonight. Quite a gloomy scene in Paul and Dorset, photographed by one of our weather watchers. So as we head through the day tomorrow, there'll be more in the way of sunshine than today. We could see the odd spot of rain, but generally it's a dry day with some sunny spells, but there will be a cold breeze from the northeast. Lots of cloud initially tonight, then the clear skies will start to develop. The showers will fade away. And under the clearing skies, we could see a touch of frost in shelter spots in the countryside away from that breeze with lows of two or three Celsius for northern areas, four or five degrees for the south coast. So tomorrow we're expecting more in the way of sunshine. After a fairly cloudy start, it should stay mainly dry, but during the afternoon we'll start to see a little bit more cloud arriving for northern areas. We could see the odd spot of rain, but in the sunshine, temperatures will reach a high of between six to eight degrees, which is around the seasonal average. So for the coastal forecast tomorrow, between Selseyville and Lyme Regis, the winds are north or northeast, three to five. The visibility is good, the weather showers at first, and the sea state is slight or moderate. So tomorrow night, under clear skies for many places, there will be some patchy cloud. We're looking at a frost developing during the early hours of the morning, quite widely as well, with temperatures falling below freezing, down to around minus two Celsius. So a chilly start as we start Wednesday, but there will be a good deal of sunshine. We'll have that northerly influence, so the winds will certainly create a wind chill. During the day, there will be a good deal of sunshine. Staying mainly dry, areas of cloud will build at times, but generally it should be mainly dry with a good deal of sunshine. But a cold feeling day and colder still as we head through the week. Look at this, a high of just two degrees. Bearing in mind, we haven't really had temperatures like that over the last few nights, so it's going to feel quite cold. There will be a north easterly breeze during, northwesterly breeze, sorry, as we head through the course of the day, but a lot of sunshine. By day, two degrees, but by night, a possibility of a low of minus four to minus five Celsius. So you will need those extra layers as we head through the week. Joe. Not what I want to hear, Alexis, no. with a no. broken boiler at home oh, no. at the moment. <laughs> Bro, get my coat on. Uh, that's all from us this evening. We're back with our late news at half past ten tonight. And uh, tomorrow we're going to be meeting the children's uh, character, Hey Dougie. Alexis has been yes. rubbing shoulders with him. <laughs> we we'll look forward to that. Bye-bye. Good night. Good night.